Hello, my beautiful people. Now, welcome back again to my channel. Now, maybe the worry get a great all of on according to our time. On our good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet on our God go bless on our on our Wednesday. They come back, God go bless on our Wednesday. Just come today. God go still bless on our beg. If not today, you just they call make you subscribe to my channel, like this video, may you see share with your friends. Now you be my VIP for today. God bless you. So my people, we see they talk about the people of Ishakiri ethnic group. Yes, I tell you now before. I say we go talk about all the different ethnic group when they for Nigeria. Now we there for Delta State. We don't take on Urobo. We don't now now the Shekiri people we they on. And today I go they tell you now from the title when you don't already see the Shekiri traditional marriage. I go they talk about them. Um, I beg before I go start this video, I won't say if you be from a Shekiri. I beg you, if you know something about I may you still add pull for dear. So that people when be like say they won't learn something from your culture, they go still learn. Because this one when I do now only research now I do. Not beside they stay for inside the air for me to know say yes. Now like this it be for life. You understand what here they tell you. So that's why all of us for here we they learn. If you get anything one not do well. Put time for there, don't worry. Put time for there, the way they be you for body. But put time where so that other people go see the comments, they'll feel attend to run too. So make we start, my people. Ishekiri traditional marriage is locally referred to as Temosi. It's mostly based on the unity of families rather than gifts, bright prize, and other goodies that come with traditional marriage. The traditional marriage in Ishakiri land is always simple and classic with a strong touch of their cultural traditions and custom. Before a traditional marriage can take place, the Ishakiri traditional marriage list and requirement is given to the groom, which the groom have to do all that is in that list. So my people, I go they drop the list. I beg not be the full list be this. This not just um something when you go expect, okay? So the list, the traditional fabrics and wrappers with other attractive clothes, high quality jewelry, including golds, corals, and silver, hot jeans, soft drinks, and assorted wines food items to be served on that occasion cola nuts 120 naira for the bright price yes my people so they have the same uh bright price with the urobo people okay of delta states urobo people also they take 120 naira so let's move on my people Ishakiri traditional attire and ceremony. During a traditional marriage ceremony in Ishakiri land, the groom is always dressed on decked wrapper with a top, ikemeje, and a hat. The bride will wear at least two different wrappers with ornament accessory ranging from silver to gold and to kora. This is worn at different times for different reasons. So normally, during a traditional marriage or ceremony in Shekiri land, it is always started with an elderly member from the bride's family welcoming their in-laws with cola nuts and hot drinks so my people i'm talking about the ceremony in proper okay if you add anything it it will be okay for us okay so the groom's family who feels respected by this act also reciprocate by giving them more hot drinks and cola nuts which is shared widely among both families the groom's family announcer and spokesman 
we also present another hot drink stating their intention the bright family then calls their daughter to confirm their statement the delta bride is dressed in silver ornament on her neck hands and hand with a beautiful wrapper comes out to greet and confirm the statement why all these are going on guests and well wishers are being entertained with different types of food ranging from owo and banga soup with stash jollof rice fried rice egusi soup and so on the bride's family could also be served on ripe plantain pepper soups hot drinks and palm wine the next step is the payment of the bride price the groom can pay as low as 120 naira depending on the bride's family reason being that the isheki receives marriage as a union between two families and not as selling their daughters to another family which explain when a married isheki woman is dead she is taken back to her father's compound or community where she will be buried instead of her husband's community. This also happened in Urobo land. I told you guys when I was making that video that the Urobo people, they do same thing. So during this time, the bride will have to change to another wrapper with gold ornaments. Okay, The elders will then bless their marriage or their union with prayers after the bride's prize okay after this then they are entertained by traditional dancers and ancient key music the bride also uses a last ornament white tanky well wishers and guests who came to celebrate with them so my people i will be stopping here so that in my next video i will bring the other things like the food their traditional attires the type of marriage they have okay so and their the types of marriage and the culture okay of the people so thank you so much for watching guys please this is just what i was able to lay my hands on please do not forget to contribute to this video because there are many people that will benefit from this video if not today it might be in the future okay thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up and also share with your families and friends i still remain on our worry bye